This is JB Smith with the first of several tutorials on my mallet station gig rig. This will start out very basic, but soon enough we'll get into the deep end of the digital music pool. The mallet station communicates with the MacBook using MIDI. This is accomplished by plugging in one USB cable. The mallet station requires a USB B connector, similar to those used in many printers. The other end goes into the laptop or iPad or cell phone even. With newer laptops, USB-C is common. The mallet station comes with a USB-A cable, so you may need an adapter or new cable. Remarkably, the cable also provides power. No external power supply is required. Once connected, we can configure the laptop to allow for communication between the mallet station and software. First, the MacBook's MIDI Studio needs to be configured. I use Fourscore and MainStage in my setup for music display and sounds. There are several other programs available, but these work for me. They communicate within the confines of the MacBook using the IAC driver. Enter Application Communication, which is an option in the MacBook's Audio MIDI Setup application, which can be found in the Applications Utilities folder. The sound panel comes up by default, so we have to select the MIDI window by pulling down in the Window menu to Show MIDI Studio. MIDI instruments you view should be listed along with the IAC driver. Double click on the IAC driver icon and then check the box next to device is online. This will activate the IAC driver. MIDI capable programs will now be able to communicate with one another. You should also see the mallet station icon. The default settings will work for my setup, so no need to change anything there. And that's all we're going to do with the MIDI settings for right now. For the page turner pedal to work, the MacBook's Bluetooth system must be turned on and the pedal must be paired. Refer to your device's manual to make that happen. Once paired, it should reconnect whenever it is powered on. In the final configuration, the MacBook's keyboard is positioned under the mallet station. If I'm stepping through tunes in a set list with the pedal, the keyboard is not needed. If, however, I need to change set list, call up a particular tune, or need to make adjustments to a main stage patch, I use a Bluetooth touchpad. As with the page turner pedal, it needs to be paired and will connect whenever it's powered on. Two wired pedals are also required, sustain and switch. To avoid issues with different manufacturers' polarity standards, I have switchable models. If the pedal is misbehaving, a flip of the switch usually takes care of the problem. Finally, a mini jack cable with adapters as needed connect the audio signal of the MacBook to a sound system. Volume is controlled by MacBook's audio controls. Setting the volume high will reduce unwanted noise. The basic system is now assembled. In the next video, I'll talk through the mallet station settings.